I'm Charles Walker, and I'm joined by Mark Seba. Mark, thanks for joining us tonight. Thanks for having Mark, me. Mark, thanks for joining us tonight. looking like a good one. Thanks for having Mark, me. Mark, thanks for Absolutely. And uh, we have a finals match between, really, and we didn't see this coming, but 512 and Idea Squad. So Brandon with his crazy scum list with Paylob and <laughs> Saj versus four X Wings and a TIE Fighter. Uh, Mark, you want to talk a little bit about uh, Brandon's? List? Yeah, uh, I'll just do a quick rundown, uh, uh, just because I think we've explained this list pretty often in the past. Uh, it's going to be Asajj in the Shadowcaster, with uh, Heightened Perception is one of the more recent additions. But he's got Maul, Contraband Cybernetics, and Shadowcaster. Uh, this is just a little bit of a heavy hitter, and he can pull off tractoring shenanigans from time to time. Uh, he's got Layton, uh, which is just a marksmanship auto blaster filler. Uh, you don't really want to shoot at him, but you don't really want to just let him sit around and take out of arc uh, shots on you, get those unblockable crits. Uh, but the the real thing that people have trouble dealing with here is Paylob. Um, he steals tokens at range 0 to 2. He's got Debris Gambit, so he can take an evade action. He's got Stealth Device, making him harder to hit. Moldy Crow, he can store those focus tokens. And then the thing that all brings it all together is that Lando crew. And then the thing that all brings it all together is that for rerolls instead of their intended effects. Uh, Paylob has taken damage in only two games this tournament, and he has yet to be killed. Uh, the only game Brandon's lost this tournament with this list, uh, Paylob still squeaked away with. Uh, Actually, the only game Brandon lost, Paylob didn't take any damage whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So Paylob, Paylob is, is just continuing to be a puzzle that a lot of players are having difficulty cracking. Absolutely. And uh, I'll talk briefly about Jax's list because it's just, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah, very uh, simple. <laughs> we've got four uh, Red Squadron veteran I3s with crack shot. I, I can definitely personally attest to I3 with crack shot is a good place to be, especially if you have six health and you got three red dice to back it up. But what's the wrinkle about Jax's list is Ezra Bridger and predictive shot. So Ezra, which you've probably never seen on the table in 2.0, is a you know an I3 TIE fighter. So he's got that good overlap where he can pick the order that a ship's move every single turn, you know, what's advantageous for him. And as Ezra says, while you defend or perform an attack, if you're stressed, you may spend one force to change up to two of your eyebrow results to in you know, a evade or hit result. So what's kind of interesting about that is you can see from his, his action bar, he doesn't have any red actions. So he's, he's going to have to do a three or four K at some point. To, to be stressed and have that ability work. Um, I think it's really more yeah. just about like it, the turn he does a three or four K, he basically has a focus action. You can look at it at that way. Yeah, but that shouldn't be too hard. And I mean, in the meantime, he's still got a force and an evade action. So yeah. it's not, you know, the worst thing in the world. I don't, I've never seen Jax fly this. Um, <laughs> I, I, the thing is though that he's, you know, He's only got the one force. Right. And he, so I, I wonder if it's not more efficient to just completely ignore the pilot ability and just fly around with a, uh, a focus or uh, focus or evade and force charge and mm -hmm. just, you know, spend that predictive charge when you need to. I think the more interesting thing, particularly with this matchup, is predictive shot. That is that is interesting. It that could be a thing that Paylob needs to watch for. Um, same with Layton. So basically, if 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 he Ezra has Paylob in his bullseye, um, you know he he rolls his red dice. However many hits and crits he rolls, that's however many Paylob can roll max. Yeah. So even though he's got stealth device, he can potentially cut through it. I think that's the. Of the two things, the pilot ability and the force ability, I think the force ability is the thing that may come into play in this game. It may not. It may not matter. Right. And, uh, you know, 
we've got we've got first turn moves here and it's all looking very straightforward brandon does the thing that he he always does he sets Leighton and Paylob up in the center there, and Asajj in the corner. Um, he made sure to deploy Asajj uh, in the opposite corner than these X-Wings, uh, so that she wouldn't get caught. And then he's just going to fly away. Does that uh, feel at all familiar, Charles? <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, I got to play Brandon last week in the semifinals. Um, we had an excellent game. It's up there on Twitch. It was an incredible game. Everybody should go watch it. <laughs> And YouTube, and if if I tell you that nobody shot for the first thirty minutes, you might think it was a really boring game, but it was super interesting to me and Brandon. Um, rock placement, every single decision in that game was super important, from rock placement to you know little actions. Um, I think in a lot of X Wing games, you have so many actions and so many decisions that you know really they don't matter. You know, twenty percent of them right. really don't matter. But in that game, every it felt like every single decision was critical. Um, so uh, while I'm I'm sorry I lost to Brandon. Brandon is an excellent player, uh, you know, one of the best players in Austin, maybe the best. And um, you know, no offense to Mark. <laughs> I, I no, there have... there there is exactly one of us who's been on a almost twenty game winning streak, and yeah. uh, it is it is not me. Yeah. So I mean. And he's definitely one of the best players in Austin. I lose to him a lot. And um, I have a lot of respect for him. And he's a really good guy, too. So we appreciate him. And I, I, what's interesting also is I also played against Jax last week. I played against both of these uh, players last week because I'm also in Idea Squad. And um, my game against Jax was so interesting. He's such a good sport. I've probably played him... Three times at this this point. I, I think the first time I ever played him was at Texas Go last year in San Antonio. And he was the only one to beat me in Swiss. And uh, he's, he's a really good player. He's always looking to learn from whatever situation he's in, whether he makes a, a great move or a bad move. Um, he's a really forgiving opponent, and he'll give you some grace. And I really respect that. So, I mean, we have two really good 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 guys in this final no absolutely and uh yeah i i i really am this is one of those games that you you hear about and you just know it's it's going to be it's going to be really good so i'd have been watching you if i wasn't commentating <laughs> um for anybody wondering like but let's talk about the game i mean mm -hmm. there this is this is the dance happening that's uh a dance that if you've watched any of brandon's games um you'll you'll be familiar with uh Jackson, obviously, his list is all front damage output. Uh, mm -hmm. He wants to point all of his ships at the same enemy ship and just destroy it in a round or two of shooting and then move on to the next one. The four three attack dice shots help, as uh, does the four crack shots on those ships. Uh, he's at the PS3. That is actually going to be pretty helpful for him because it essentially mm -hmm. is going to be extremely difficult for Brandon to PS kill any of these X-Wings. Um, but the the deal is that Brandon loses if he jousts this list. I mean, he just loses. Mm -hmm. So Brandon, doing Brandon things, is instead choosing to fly around this asteroid debris field, trying to draw the X-Wings into it, and make the fight happen, not just in a place where it's hard for uh, it's harder for Jax to keep his formation, but also in a place where uh, Brandon has a few more escape options, and where Paylob can use Debris Gambit to take a a, a white focus, or rather a white evade. Yeah, um, I, I would think that Brandon's going to want to fly on Jax's side of the map this whole game. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. No, me too. Uh, though, it, in a way, the rocks are so heavily concentrated, mm -hmm. and there's so much open space. Um, Jax is not. It's going to be difficult, I think, for Brandon to shoot in safely and kind of poke Jax into engaging if Jax doesn't take any of the bait that Brandon lays down. Yeah, and um, for those that saw me in Brandon's game last week, this is almost a mirror 
I mean, it is rocks, very similar. The rocks were all down towards you know my side of the map. I sh- I shot up my forces in the gutters, turned in, wanted to fly in that space in the middle of the map. It's it's eerily similar. I don't know that it's the wrong strategy. It's just well, you know what didn't work out for me. It was I wasn't able to make Brandon pay in the middle of the map. All right. those focus tokens and those evades, they add up. It do. Uh, and I, I will be interested to see how Jax reacts to pay lob here. Um, you know, generally there's, there's two, there's two ways you can approach pay lobs Mm -hmm. theft of a single focus token. You can either not focus with any of your ships in range Mm -hmm. and instead decide to just, uh, for these ships, take a target lock, which is going to be, Here's the thing we didn't talk about before the game, Charles. Uh, the fact that Brandon has initiative yes. means that it's going to be significantly easier for Jax to move in with these X-Wings and take target locks on Paylob or Layton. Uh, and that could be a very big deal. Uh, so you could you could choose to not take any focuses whatsoever in range, or you can just say, look, I have five ships, and you only get to steal one token. So, you know, fuck you, I'm just going to focus anyway. Uh, we'll, we'll see what Jax chooses to do here. I do think a, a mix is probably, is probably best. Leighton 5K-ing. So, Brandon, you can, you can see with that 5K, Brandon is starting to figure out where the fight's going to be. Mm-hmm. And just like in your game, he thinks the fight is going to be in this little open spot right. between the debris to the left of the board. Mm-hmm. So he's K turning Leighton. He's getting ready for a three straight or two straight next turn so that Leighton can start getting ready to come around the bottom left of the board and be there in time to catch some of these X Wings. Um, the problem with that is that uh, Asajj has an even harder time getting into the combat this game than she did in your game. Yes. Uh, there's no perfect little place for her to fit in. Um, but also, uh, Jack's very clearly taking the long way around. He is. I really like his position, though. So Yeah, no, absolutely. So next turn, he could hard turn in with his X-Wings and you know, Maybe. hope that, that Brandon wants to play chicken with him. Or he could uh, 4K with all of them if he wants you know, to. I would like to see a one straight or a one bank out of him. Okay, what is that? Well, Brandon's still figuring out his positioning. Mm-hmm. Um, the next move with Leighton is going to say a lot about where Leighton's going to be going. Mm-hmm. And the same for Paylob. If Paylob does a two hard turn here, or something. Does the Hawk have a one hard turn? I don't think uh, it does. Let me check it out real quick. But that's going to tell you a lot about Paylob's positioning as opposed to if Paylob does a three straight or something to go all the way around the back half. Um, same with Asajj. It, if you let Asajj move one more time, you get a pretty good idea of where she's going to go. So and I, I also think... If you sorry, if, I also think if you go straight here, mm-hmm. you open yourself up to just a little bit more space so that when you hard turn the next turn, you're mm-hmm. pointed in a way that lets you better react to Asajj when she finally comes around. I So I've got Paylob's dial up. No one hard. It's got a white okay. two and a red three. I yeah, think Paylob's going to do a two or three bank next turn. I agree with you. I think I think a bank, a bank or a straight is, is almost certainly what Paylob wants to do. Um. You know, I could see Brandon continuing to run that. We're all talking about, you know, Brandon doing what he did in his game against you, which is kind of coming in in this net from three different directions. Right. Paylob down the center, Leighton around the bottom left, and Asajj around the top right. But if Brandon doesn't like where he is, he could also just rab it. Um, and and just continue to run away and draw the X-Wing through. And that that's where, again, I would like to see Jax just be a little bit more careful here. Um, not hard turn in and start committing yourself. Brandon is just going to be continually laying down bait, mm-hmm. um, saying, come this way, come this way, come this way. Uh, and if Jax takes that bait 
um, he's going to start making him, itself harder for him to avoid these rocks. And so this is where I don't really love that three bank. I don't either. Um, the advantage of it is you do catch a latent a little bit here. Yeah, you can uh, kill Leighton and get 34 points. Yeah. Um, well, it's it's not even about that, I, I guess. It's just about you kill Leighton and you don't have to have Leighton sitting there tossing the occasional four dice attack. I mean, and that's, late, that's, what I, that's why I wanted to get rid of him is to stop right. blocking me last week. It wasn't In a way, Leighton attack. won that game for Brandon. Absolutely. Right? Um, but here comes Asajj. And... Uh, mm. And once again, this is just where I, I think if, if Jax had just taken one more turn to to fully commit, uh, he could have had a very, very strong opportunity to come in and just really punish Asajj. Uh, now that's going to be a little bit more difficult because he's chosen to drive right into Brandon's net that he's cast here. Yeah, I mean, the Ks are out now because... Right. Because oh, the K's are straight out. The K's are straight out because Paylob will be throwing three dice and Lake will be throwing however many dice it can get in a bullseye um, at right. you. So, I mean, I mean, I really feel like he's basically got one move, Jack says, this next turn, which is, like, too hard. Um, yeah, well, yeah, Jack... And and so because Jack's committed so hard, mm -hmm. he has he has to now pick... Essentially, do you go after Leighton or do you go after the Paylob Assage direction? Right. Because um, if you go, I mean, I, you can't go straight here, I don't think. No. If you go straight, you just open up your flank. Um, so you, the, the choices between banks or hard turns. Absolutely. Um, and hard turns basically let Leighton pull in behind you. And uh, Banks let Asajj pull in behind you, and neither one's good. Uh, whereas if you were just a little bit slower, you could face the whole direction. But you go with what you got, so you think Asajj, right? You got a hard turn here. Yeah, I think Asajj is the right thing to go after in Brandon's list. And uh, it's 90 points. It's the easiest thing to kill. Mm-hmm. Don't let my game against Brandon tell you otherwise. And, uh -huh. <laughs> and um, you can just throw a bunch of red dice at Paylob and it doesn't even matter. Well, and, especially at range three, you got to watch that. And Leighton too, right? You know, once it's once Leighton successfully defended or, you know, uh, attacked and unsuccessfully dealt damage, then the evades just start piling up and it's, right. it's snowballs. Right, and really, you know, if you if that's what you you accomplish with your turn, um, right? You basically yeah, I don't know. Basically, need four dice if you're going to shoot Leighton or Paylob. You uh, need to shoot uh, them with four dice, or it's it's basically pointless. I'm of two ways about it. Jax's ships are are tough enough. Mm -hmm. That I I wonder if you just three continue to three bank in with all these guys, you know. Uh, I guess that's what I would do if I was Jax. I would just three bank in with all of the X wings, uh, focus up, and plan to just try and bury Layton in one turn uh, if you can get the range. No, I agree. I think you either two hard left or you three bank left. And I think the problem with the two hard left is this. Uh, you, you pretty much know where Leighton's going to be, right? Uh, yeah. You know, he, he, he can one hard turn and run, or he can one bank in. But you don't guaranteed know where Paylob and Asajj is going to be. Uh, Paylob has that two hard turn open, I think, um, which is a really good position for Paylob to be. But Paylob also could just three or four straight and boost. Uh, and if you too hard turn in, you, you know, your Brandon just gets to draw you through the rocks and keep running away. Uh, same for Asajj. Uh, those X wings could too hard turn looking for Asajj and Asajj could just five straight and evade. So one arm Billy in our chat, I agree with him. Knowing Brandon, Layton could 
totally do a one hard left focus. I think the problem, the problem with doing that in a way, uh, although I would do the two hard, uh, the, the problem with right. doing that in a way is that, um, if the X wings hard turn in to go for Paylob to go for Asajj, um, yeah, you've wasted your approach with Layton to get some damage. Right. Sure, but if if Jax does commit to the 34-point ship, then he's going to be in a world of hurt. Yeah, I, I think I think Brandon, and I don't know what Brandon's going to do, but Brandon has two good options here. He can, he can fake out. Mm-hmm. I mean, this looks like his normal approach, right? It does. Uh, he, he's netted. He's he's got him surrounded on three sides. So he can either turn in with everybody and just say, I'm going to engage with my whole squad, and you might do some damage this turn, but your formation is going to be in tatters next turn, trying mm-hmm. to go in every direction at once. Or Brandon could say, you know what? Uh, this isn't where I want to be. Um, I think that if I put off combat for a couple of turns here, I can really make you suffer pull you through the rocks, make you split up. And Brandon could fake out with every single one of his ships. But um, I really think if, if he fakes out with one, he's got to fake out with all of them. Right. And nothing nothing could be worse for Brandon here than, you know, losing a, you know, a couple of points just to stray shots. Um, but here's, here's Paylob hard turning in. That makes me think that Brandon thinks Paylob's not going to take a bunch of shots. Maybe, but there's Leighton doing the one bank. Yeah, he's wow. Brandon's doing exactly what he did in, in his game against you. He he has picked his spot. He's ready to fight. He thinks that this is the best position for him to be in. Oh, my goodness. There's a three-hard turn from that X-Wing. Um, and uh, this is where uh, I, I really... We'll see how we'll see how this turns out with Asajj. He's going to barrel roll instead of spending, wow. uh, instead of focusing. I don't like that decision at all. Yeah, and he oh. he didn't and he didn't commit. Yeah, he didn't. I don't know what Jax was thinking here. He's well, he's picking the middle ground. Here's the problem too. So Brandon has an issue, right? Yeah. So. Brandon could intentionally take a crappy shot with Leighton that and doesn't miss. do any d- mm-hmm. damage. Don't use right. his focus token. Right. Like he could go shoot Ezra, right? If Ezra's right. in range. Right. <laughs> Get his free May- evade and nothing's going to happen to him. Yeah, and be and be reasonably untouchable for the rest of the game. Now what did what did Okay. Oh no, is that a rock? Did he land on the rock? Oh my god, I think he missed the rock. Holy shit, he didn't land on the rock. Brandon is going to deserve... I don't know if he's going to win this game or not, but he deserves some serious kudos for having the... <laughs> the sheer the sheer confidence to turn That's Asajj into a That's group of X-Wings. That's not the word you were looking for, Mark. I can tell. That is not the word I was looking for, but oh my God, that move. Uh, I, I can't say that I love it, though. Like, yeah, he got what he wanted. He found he found a space, but that's still Asajj sitting at range of every one of those X-Wings. And uh, that it, it can't really be a happy Asajj. I think, I think Brandon's you shoot the target X- lock yellow. Oh, d- did he not evade? No, he's taking oh, a target man. lock action. He doesn't think he's taking yeah. a ton of damage. I don't think he's got to take it. He's got to take it on. Yeah, he's got to take it on that farthest X wing. Mm. Um, not only is that his best chance to um, to do damage because it doesn't have a focus token, but it's Fair. also his best chance to uh, barrel roll it to the right and get it so that it can't shoot a Saj. Wow. And then, uh, and then Palob could shoot it. And then Palob, Palob could shoot it, or Palob could shoot one of the forward X wings, or whatever he wants to do. Yeah, the other problem in a, with with Brandon having initiative uh, is that Palob has to shoot before um, 
Jax's entire list, which essentially means that Palab never gets to spend his tokens. Because Palab never gets to know how many tokens he's going to need for defense until it's over. Oh, that's not a great roll. Only two hits. Uh, he might. Uh, he's going to spend it. Uh, and that's three of eight. Oh, my goodness. So, um, that X-Wing getting off Scott free, Asajj spending her action to target lock, and a force and getting nothing for it. Uh, he really, really should have evaded there. Um, Leighton gonna pop a shot. Let's see if he's going. It'll be interesting. Or offense, right? He's going for offense. Uh, clearly deciding, and he'll spend that focus token. I bet too. I think. I think he's he's decided that they're more likely to go after Asajj than they are after Leighton. But I could be wrong. Well, I don't know that Yellow can even shoot Asajj, and Ezra mm. can't shoot Asajj. Mm. He's not spending it. Ah, uh, that could have been two shields off that X-wing. Well, but now Leighton gets a evade. He gets his evade, but it's a waste if basically nobody shoots Leighton. Sure. Well, you uh, know that I... X-wing right next to Leighton's going to shoot him. No doubt. Oh no! Disastrous for Brandon. Palab has no shot. None at all. None at all. Well, no. he has the he has no forward arc shot. It's range two through a rock. But so. this. Yeah, but this isn't what he wanted. No, absolutely not. I mean, that, roll, that's a hell of a roll. Uh, but this X-Wing uh, is just going to take a single shield. Now, the advantage here, in a way, um, for, for Brandon is that there's not a lot of crack shots lined up on him. Right. Uh, you know, the, the only one he really has to worry about is that one guy sitting there without a focus token. Um, but if that, if that X-Wing spikes three hits in a crit or, you know, two hits in a crit or something like that, Halob could be, uh, could be in trouble. Right. All right. So we've got some attacks going here. I didn't see his target. He didn't point it out. It's gotta be. It's gotta be Asajj. It's going to be Asajj. Yeah. And, ooh, that's. That's a decent enough start. Asajj is going to spend a force, not take any damage. Right. Um, checking on the next X-Wing here. Uh, just has Leighton. He does have Crackshot on Leighton. Uh, but that is a focused and evaded Leighton. That's a pretty solid roll, though. Three hits. And uh, Leighton will need to spend that evade. Yep. But he'll, he'll get it right get back. It back. So it's fine. This is what's easy. Uh, unless he crack shots it. Oh, goodness. he crack he crack shots it. So Leighton takes a shield, and the attack is treated as hitting, which so uh, I believe means that evade. evade should not he should not have that evade anymore. And there it goes. Uh, interesting use of crack shot, but I mean, I you, I guess you 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 know you take it where you can get it, right? Uh, he's going to pop a range one shot into Leighton there. Oof. That is Great some fire there. Uh, that Leighton does not have that many dice, Brandon. No, he has to be shooting Leighton. I think Brandon thought he was shooting Paylob, and he rolled dice accordingly. But he, he's shooting Leighton, so that's going to have to be re-rolled. Uh, so okay, he's going to spend that focus. Great. Take a crit. All right. Leighton is not looking so healthy. Uh, that's going to be a stunned pilot crit, which is not really uh, as bad as it could have been. Right. And then he'll shoot Ezra into Paylob as well, uh, into Leighton as well. Uh, no, no tokens on that Leighton, but no results on that Ezra. So Leighton will get a free evade. All right, so we've got uh, a couple shots left here, right? Uh, we've got this X-Wing shooting wow. into... Oof! That's some fire. Who is that at? That must have been an Asajj, given the number of, of evade dice being rolled. Yeah, because it'd be four with the lightning. Uh-huh, yeah. Oof. One That's going to be force. two shields off Asajj if she spends that force. Yeah. Yeah. Brandon, uh, that was the last shot, I think, actually. 
uh, Brandon has to be kind of counting his lucky stars here in a way um, because that did not go as badly for him as it could have. He's going to be, he's going to take a, a stress there to activate Maul uh, and recover two force, one with Maul and one with the, oh no, did he just take two stress there? Maybe he thinks he's going to get he did. this turn. He did. Yeah, he took two stress to make sure he has full force recovery. He's counting on not fully executing a maneuver. A maneuver. That's, an, that's an interesting, but I mean, that's a solid decision uh, mm -hmm. if, he, if he doesn't end up being able to fully complete his mm -hmm. maneuver. Anyway, yeah. Um, so that still went pretty solidly to Jax. Absolutely. Um, Jax lost one shield and spent one crack shot and in return, dealt four damage to Brandon. And Brandon does not have as much health as Jax does. Um, and he did that on a turn where he had some... I, I don't want to be too critical, but he had some subpar movement. Um, you know, he, by, by kind of hanging back, he, he was forced to split his shots between multiple different ships. Um if he had committed to one or the other, I think we would see Asajj at half or a dead late. Mm -hmm. um, on the other hand, uh, Palab didn't really have an opportunity to, to get in the fight. So this turn is going to be absolutely critical. And I would not at all be surprised to see uh, Brandon taking quite a bit of, of time here. Uh, Jax, though, basically already set on his moves. I mean, Jax can just one bank with everybody. Yeah, and, and that's, I think, the right call for him. Either one straighting or one banking with, with just about everybody. Um, Leighton, Leighton is the wild card here. Mm -hmm. uh, Leighton is completely capable of running in and bumping people. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Five straight. You think five straight or 5K with Leighton? Ooh, 5K is even better. I would 5K, 100%. I like um, that. Paylob... One straight. Yeah, so he can evade. Right. He's, he's got two focuses. He doesn't need any more focus. focus. Well, the other option with Paylob is um, is he's got the arc pointed to the right. You know, he could just Paylob could just four straight. He could. He could and four so he straight. Could, he could try to block too. I guess. Yeah. So I mean, if you don't do the five K with Layton. And you just two bank or something like that. Paylob could just four straight and boost, bank left, and just say, "You're not shooting me with most of these ships unless you K turned." The problem is that that you know what you, what happens to Asajj at that point. Um, but at least you know you're you're basically trying to say you don't really get any mods, and the one ship that you do maybe get to take an action with, I'll steal that focus or evade. Uh, Ezra certainly um, probably needs to be a little wary of Paylob because Ezra cannot take a target lock. Mm -hmm. Anything Ezra does is is going to be stolen by Paylob. And maybe that's a good argument for stressing yourself. Right. One thing I appreciate the way about how Jax is flying here is how Ezra's in the back. Mm -hmm. I mean... It takes a little bit of thought to do that when a TIE fighter is, is pretty is much faster. These yeah, things can really you, move, right? <laughs> yeah, and you can tell he set up his deployment to, to help that happen. He's been doing nothing but moving fast ever since. Absolutely. Um, we haven't really seen too many slow maneuvers out of these X-Wings yet. I think Asajj, you know, but because the... You know, you don't get to blue till you're about three speed three with Asajj's style. I, I think, think this. I think the two straight is also blue, but okay. it, it's not ideal here. I think you want to take some shots off of Asajj. So I think the bump is actually, and, and Brandon figured that out too, right before yeah. The, yeah. the the last round was even over. That's why he was willing to double stress. He's also right. got contraband cybernetic, so he can do a blue here, be stressed, and five k next uh -huh. turn. If he survives, absolutely. Right. Um, here, here's something that I wonder if Brandon's thinking about. That X-Wing that that uh, did that three hard turn that's right next to Leighton. Mm -hmm. That X-Wing is... Yeah, there's that 5K from Leighton. <laughs> that X-Wing is prime put-on-a-rock material. 
He is. Uh, and that for okay, but the problem, Brandon, <laughs> is you've you've blocked yourself from doing a boost that you probably want to do. I mean, these are the moves that we talked about, but the the issue is that in my mind, that it was one or the other. I think Brandon's going to evade. He's within range one of an obstacle. He's going to evade. That's just that's a. I, I, I'm very concerned that by doing that, you've essentially put Paylob right in the middle of the most likely place that all of these X-Wings are going to go. And, oh boy, I would have re much rather Paylob had been able to boost right He's there. He's going to target like Asajj. Is he going to target like Asajj or Paylob? It's, it's got to be Asajj. If he doesn't know where Asajj is going to be. I think he, he, I think he thinks Asajj is not going to fit in the middle of all that stuff. I, I wonder if he's thinking, I know where Paylob is. I know I'm going to have tons of four attack guns on Paylob. I can kill him here. Maybe. Uh, wait, did he just focus? He, no. He okay. took his target lock off. I don't know. The only reason yeah, right. he would do it went on Asajj. is if you're going to barrel roll. That's yeah, he was thinking about barrel rolling. Yeah. Yeah, here come these X Wings, man. Uh, oh, boy. Uh, another target lock for that X Wing. Still think you'd go after Asajj. Uh, Asajj can't fit in the middle of all that junk. It's too big. Yeah. No, no, you're right. I mean, but I'll, but this is also like, this is the best chance you are going to have all game to just fucking delete Paylob. Um, maybe. Yeah, there's that bump. That's um, that's a great that's completely fine right there. Yeah. Because you've got crack shot. Yeah, so Leighton accomplishes one bump here. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if that X-wing target locks Leighton. You've got a you've got a range one crack shot into a uh, yeah no mods Leighton and that. Uh, I mean Leighton might get the free evade, but and Ezra just bumps and that's fine. Ezra wasn't going to take an action anyway. If Brandon can get out of this with Asajj, I'm going to be shocked. I don't know where where Asajj can yeah. get out of this. Uh, you know, I wonder about a five straight. I really do. Well, um, five straight maybe gets you past this this X wing here. Yeah, swap it to the back. I'm not sure what he's doing right there. He hasn't moved yet. What is he doing? I don't know. What what was that move? The three bank. All right. Oh my god, and he is just barely not on that rock after that bump. Yeah. But but this is what I was talking about here. And I, it, Brandon, it looks like Brandon was on the same page. Um, he is going to be able to shoot this X-Wing in front here, range one. Mm -hmm. And if he hits him, he can put on a rock. That's right. And that's one, that's one less shot coming out. So this shot, very important for Brandon. And that is not a good roll, mm -mm. but he doesn't have any defensive mods on that X-Wing. Um, Why is he rolling red dice? He, uh, he wants to add damage. <laughs> he feels bad for how the game is going. Uh, oh, we'll that was so close to another, another natty, but uh, no, the ship's not dead, Jax. Um, <laughs> there's a tractor on that ship, and Brandon is going to roll that X-Wing right onto a rock. Um, Yes, yeah. the brown, the brown X-wing is in code brown now. There On it is. The he might take another point of damage from hitting the rock, and he, he does. does. And that's going to be half points on that X-wing. Yeah. So starting to see a little bit of Brandon making his game go the way he wants, um, and we've got some shots, some more shots coming up here too. Um, Layton and Paylob also shoot before these X-wings. Um, we don't have any other damaged X wings, so you know your guess is as good as mine yellow. with the rest of these shots. Yellow, late. Well, Layton. Oh, yellow. You want to go after well, yellow? You could shoot. No, you got tractor uh, brown in range two. Yeah, that's just yeah. You could shoot tractor brown. The question is whether, whether Brandon is looking for a shot he can miss. Um, mm -hmm. to get in a, and and try to try to hold. Leighton alive for, for one more turn here. Well, it's three dice against two or two two dice against one. Well. So, it's kind of six half dozen. Looks like well, Brandon's going to shoot. Anyway. 
<laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. It, but it, he he shot Brown. That's what he did. Yeah, yeah. And he gets his he gets his evade. I, I'm sure he's probably okay with that, especially if Leighton survives this this turn. Um, Paylob's shot is a little bit more interesting. Although once again, Paylob really can't spend any of his tokens on this. Well, um, Paylob can use his front arc. I think that'd be better if you're actually trying to do damage. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so he's going to choose one of these X-Wings he's got to range one at, and I don't think he really cares which one. He might um, choose Ezra. He might choose Ezra. But Ezra's got fewer points, and I think he's also less likely to hit it because Ezra has one more agility and a focus and a force token. Um, he's going to choose an X-Wing. Wow. Well, pretty well. I don't think he's going to spend his focus he's token. Spend that. He really, really needs that focus token. He's thinking about it, though. He's thinking about it. He's thinking maybe they're going to go for Asajj. They took all their mods on Asajj now. Okay, he's just going to do hit, hit, crit. That X-Wing is going to double Ooh. blank, wish it had heroic, and there's another X-Wing at half points. <laughs> they didn't invent heroic for another few movies. And there's another stunned pilot, just drawing both stunned pilots right in a row here. Let's shuffle our decks. Um, well, actually, that, this is both players, isn't it? With stuff yeah, like exactly. So it's completely even on crit damage cards so far. Not, neither player are able to complain. Um, so we've got two X wings at half, and Brandon uh, leading points here. But uh, that is, it may be about to change. Yeah, Brandon's um, leading on points, but I wouldn't feel confident if I was Brandon right here. Right now, he what he did very much succeed in here was putting that X wing on a rock, mm -hmm. and. Um, and that's something that Brandon had to have been seeing coming because that X-Wing was going to have to swing around close to that rock to get a good shot. Um, and uh, the only... Here, here's the thing, though. Um, I, I wonder if Jax should not have taken a stress and rotated 90 degrees for next turn. Not a lot of people think about that with the tractor. Um, oh, yeah, because he wouldn't be flying through the rock. Exactly, and he'd be in a, a pretty good position to just one straight and, and yeah, that, take a target lock. Yeah, that would be better. Um, and I, why I do think a Talon roll would have been a better option if he was doing that. Um, but yeah, we have Ezra. Of course, from Ezra yeah, to can, too. I mean, there's no reason not to, really. Um, right. Well, well, who was he shooting? Was that Paylob or was that Layton? I think he's Layton? shooting Layton. Hmm. It's hard to tell because they both roll three yeah, they, dice. They both, and they both, yeah, they were both at range one. Well, we're about to find out, um, but actually, no, because that's a two evade to yes. two hit result, so it's just completely and there's misses. no crack shot. Now, if it was Leighton, though, he'd be getting another free evade right now. That's true, so it must have been it must have been Paylob that he was shooting at. Uh, this guy has to be shooting at Leighton, though, because he took a target lock on Leighton. Um, that's a very good start. He'll spend that target lock, try not to steal the evade in the process. Oh... <laughs> uh, what do we got? Ooh, that's not what Jax wants to see with that target lock. No, just hit crit crack. on Layton. He does have so crack. So Brandon probably's going to spend the evade. He's going to spend the evade. He'll get it right back, and that's half of Jax's shots with absolutely no result. Um, and this one doesn't have any mods, but you know as well as I do, sometimes that's uh. And I'm well, sure he's shooting. Uh, Assange. He better be shooting Asajj. He's not. He's shooting Paylob. What is he doing? Well, he's got crack shot, so Brandon's going to have to focus. Bra well, Brandon needs to remember that he's got crack shot, and he's he's going to remember. He's yeah. Brandon focuses and evades with Paylob. Gets away with no damage. And this guy now, again. You you took a target lock on Asajj. You need to be shooting Asajj. But he's not. Yeah, I mean well, that's, that's a scary the, roll. That's a, that's a scary roll for Paylob, except focus. it's not because he can just focus out of it. And Jax just, I, I, I have to say he he just flubbed that combat round. Yeah, and we, Tropical Bob in our chat, I think it aptly is saying, you know, the splitting fire was the yeah. problem. Pick, pick yeah, the he, ship and focus it now. Well, it's not just that he's splitting fire. It's that he, he deliberately moved up and chose all of his target locks on Asajj 
with yeah with multiple crack shots on Asajj on the ship that you know you can kill and then he proceeded to not at all shoot the ship that he had chosen to shoot well, here's in the, the activation thing too. so he did zero damage to Asajj that turn he did zero damage to anybody this turn well okay but key thing but, is but, Asajj okay yeah. just just stick with me for a second here sure. Asajj can now 5k even though she's stressed and those X wings can do nothing about it whatsoever. Well, they no that that's not necessarily true. They the yellow is in a good position to fuck around with Asajj being able to five k. How? Uh, hard turns and barrel rolls. Yeah, but I don't I don't think he's going to do that. I mean, you're really you're really going to have to gamble like you know for sure that that's what Asajj is going to do. Right. The you know the thing that I, I'm I'm that, so that's definitely an option. Although I, I, I would, I would expect Brandon to pull more like another three bank or a three hard turn. The the big problem I'm looking at with this board is that where Asajj is is right in the way of all of these X wings K turns. That's exactly right. That's why they're gonna they're probably gonna do hard Talon? turns and Talon rolls and that sort of thing. Yeah. Asajj is gonna five K and right. light one up. Yeah, May, yeah, I, I could see that happening. I mean, um, Brown's going to be a perfect one to shoot at this turn. You know, and the nice thing about choosing the 5K as an option, really, is that if mm -hmm. it if you you can play with the rules, if yellow moves and blocks the 5K, you can just choose not to use Contraband Cybernetics, mm -hmm. which will force you to do a white two straight, which will give you a range one shot on the ship that just tried to block you. Yeah. Uh, that's, and that's, so it's fun. You know, in a way, Brandon gets to to play around with you know delaying his his move choice until until Asajj moves if he, if he dials that in. Um, Neat. I don't. I can't. I think that that would be a you or I maneuver, though. I I would be very <laughs> surprised if Brandon pull that off, but he has to be feeling very good here. Uh, two X wings to half in the last round of shooting and took no damage whatsoever. When this should have been the round that we see a I huge go off the board, smoke come off of the side. We should have seen one of Brandon's ships go off the board this turn. And yeah, now they're in the way, right? Um, right, because Layton's going to probably too straight focus right. be in the way. Paylock can just you know go forward. Which he's exactly bank. doing. Yeah, oh, he's just getting out of the way, he's and he's rotating his arc rotate. to the rear. Right. Yeah, and he's just saying, "You still don't get any focus tokens, and you're in a terrible place to chase me." Right. Um. It may also be. I wonder if red, if red talent rolls. That would be the only really good shot that you can have. And then Leighton is just one banking and and getting in a blocking position, and that's oh, all Leighton really that's cares to do. Better than the two straight. Yeah. Yeah, that's all Leighton cares to be. Their, He's, they can't fit between Leighton and, and Asajj, so they're going to bump. Whatever they right. do, they're going to bump. Right. Um, but here we have the X-Wing starting to move. There's that two hard turn bump into Asajj. He moved through the rock, so he has to roll again, and he takes no damage this time. So, you know, 50-50 there. Yay. Um, the rest of these X-Wings yeah, don't really have a good opportunity to move here. Mm -hmm. Um uh, someone in chat I, I, I saw saying, you know, Paylob is a trap. Why do people keep falling for it? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. Um, like I said at the start of the game, uh, Paylob is a puzzle. And I think, I think most players just have not figured out how to solve it. Uh, but I, I, like I said, the one, Brandon has lost exactly one game in the Corona Cup with this list. And as far as I'm aware... He's only lost twice with this list. And one, one of the games that he lost was against a mirror of this right. list. So I'm going to just, I'm going to toss that out as, as not good evidence. The only game he's lost to not a, an exact mirror oh, match. He didn't do the was, 5k. He didn't do the 5k. Like, uh, what did he do? Three hard. Yeah. Uh, again, a brand that uh, the 5k is risky. You or I move. Brandon's always going to choose the three bank or the three hard turn. But I agree with you. This would this would have been a turn that that would have been a very very good move for him. Mm -hmm. um, instead, he's he's stuck in front of, and he bumped. The worst thing about it for Brandon, he, he bumped into Leighton. Oh, so he's got uh, three X wings, four X wings and, at range and one, and a Tie Fighter shooting it with crack shots. So this this could go very badly for Brandon. 
Um, anyway, the one person who flew a, a not mayor list and beat Brandon didn't even scratch Paylob. <laughs> he killed Asaj, he killed Leighton, and he won on points. And that's how you should be approaching this game. And Jax was already halfway there. Asaj out of shields, Leighton half points. He has a chance this turn to start catching up. So Brandon has a choice of shooting a ship that is untouched. Uh, he needs to be shooting the ship that's... Uh, he can't. Brown and Red are both out of arc. What do you mean? The the ship that is... Um, oh, gosh. They're both that's are, aren't they? Oh, that's just that's bad. That's just bad. All right. Well, he's got to shoot one of these other guys. That's still a really good roll. It's yeah, you'll roll. spend the force. Maybe you'll get half points again. Nah, not quite. But two shields. Two shields on yellow. Caleb can can help you get that half points. Oh, that was yellow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm surprised. Um, uh, I guess he chose yellow so that he can roll yellow out of crack range. But yellow's already spent crack. Well, he can't even move green. No, but what I thought is he would do is shoot green because then Paylob can also get a range one shot on the tractored green. Um, I think Brandon was hoping that yellow w could be rolled out of range one. No, um, and and, and it was out that. of range one of Asajj, just not of Leighton. No, I think, uh, I think yellow still has a range one shot on Asajj. Okay. Um, it's close. It's close. We'll find out in a moment. Uh, uh, Leighton, though, has a range one, not quite bullseye shot. Um, That's on probably going to do damage. damage. That's going to do damage. That's going to so, do... Brown is down more another two. And Jax has to be pretty happy that he didn't hit another damage coming off that rock. Good point. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered too much. He still would have gotten to shoot, but any more shots that Brandon has to take is a, is a big deal. Um, Paylob checking Paylob. his arc here, hitting the wrong arc to check, forgetting he moved it. Uh, is that range two on that ship with one? No, if just it's barely. Range two on Brown. Oh, it's just barely three. range three. Yeah. Um, he's gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Is he, he making uh, Paylob declares. <laughs> Paylob declares that uh, a rarely seen attack all in range, which every <laughs> X-wing player knows you can do once per game. So he's doing red. He's... Uh, yeah. So Brandon's splitting his fire too here. Oh, oh my god, Paylob has just been doing nothing but great rolls all game. So that's and, uh, and alone is yeah. So there's two, uh, and that's a fuel leak, unfortunately. Um, two X wings down to one health. Um, not quite enough. But they're still alive. But they are still alive, and even if he had killed them, they would still get to shoot here. Um, yeah, Paylob, <laughs> one on Billy, Paylob has been rolling like crazy this game, and it's been, it's been great. Although, Asajj <laughs> and, Asaj and Leighton, though, have not really been holding up their end of things. So it's been even wow. overall, even though it's looking like, wow. um, well, he's got a target lock there. Does he? Doesn't he on Asajj? He bumped. Yeah, he's, everybody has a target lock on Asajj. Yeah, he's, he's spending it. Oh, yeah, he moved before Asajj got it. Every one of his his X wings. Oh, there's a solid wow. roll for that X wing. Um, Asajj is uh, desperately wishing that she had listened to you uh, and five K. Okay. Yeah, because <laughs> he can't even spend any force to mitigate. That's just going to be three damage and straight to half points for Asajj. Mm -hmm. And with Asajj about to take what I think is three more range one shots. Oh, and he cracked that. He cracked that evade, so that was actually four damage straight oh, wow. through to us. Um, we have another range one attack coming here. Um, he's got a that looks bad, but he has a target lock too. I think. I don't know. Uh, oh, uh, Brandon was still in the process of mauling. Uh, oh, I don't know what he was doing there. He rerolled all of his results. Uh, in any case, hit crit. They're moving forward, and uh, Asajj will be able to escape that attack. 
by Reed spending a four. Spent his crack, or he just spent it? He already spent it, I believe. Okay. Um, the only cracks left on the board are the two X wings with almost no health left. Okay. Um. They're still Actually, talking, red but is the only one with crack left. Uh, oh yeah, no, that's a good point. I'll get rid of. Well, that's because yeah, and Brown just spent his. Um, yellow got rolled out, or no, yellow didn't have a crack in the first place. Man, this is, so many well, similar ships did, gets but confusing. She spent it. He's just yeah, flipping she's... the charge, not the card, too. Oh. Um. So they're, they're, they're treating that to... they're treating that ship as if it had crack shot left. So that may have been an error that the players are agreeing on. Oh, maybe. Um, so yeah, see that's just barely a range one shot there from yellow. Brandon just not quite getting what he wanted. And that's a weapons failure that went on to Asage. That's bad. Um, but that uh, that double evade is going to be is going to be very helpful. And so Asajj just has to take one last range one shot. Jax's X-Wing dice, not what he wants with those uh, mods he's been taking. He doesn't mm -hmm. seem to be able to get more than two hits. Um, but that's still going to be one more damage. And, and let, let it be noted that he did, he did just get Asajj to half. Uh, Ezra's mm -hmm. going to have one, one last shot here. It's going to be range one. He's got a force. Um... Asajj has how many damage now? Asajj has three left to give. Well, that could be it right there if Brandon doesn't roll well. And he just barely... Is, is, that, is that a dead Asajj or is that a... That's a dead Asajj. Because oh, he has weapon failure stacked, off to the side. Maybe? He has weapon failure off to the side. So that is a dead Asajj. Wow. Just barely. Ezra putting the final nail in the Asajj coffin. I think, we, uh, I, think I missed Chad the damage saying, somewhere in there. Chad is saying that he, uh, he accidentally flipped two ships worth of crack shot when Brown attacked. Hmm. Green, he flipped Brown, and Brandon. Brandon saw that as well. I think that's correct because the only crack we'd oh, seen I before the round I, I don't think was the one on late. Here. Yeah, I don't. I don't believe that. Yeah, but that's a heavy, heavy loss for Brandon. Absolutely. Um, and it's definitely. I. I. I can't see the points right now. Or yes, I can. Brandon at forty-two, Jackson at one hundred and seven. I need to now, check this though to make sure. All right. So I've got. Yeah, no, I think that's right. But yellow's one away from half. Yeah. And let's see. Yeah, Chad, I think I think the, the numbers were just a little off. We were losing track with how many damage cards right. were going down that quickly. And then he did that unfortunate thing where he uh, put them all in a stack so we couldn't see how many there were. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think I think Asajj was killed with exactly as many as needed, she needed to take to die, and that was very, very unfortunate um, for Brandon. But I, I, I have to say that it, it was deserved. You know, when when you plop a large base ship at range one of four X wings with mods and a Tie Fighter with mods, and crack shot. several of which have crack shot on you, <laughs> you deserve to die. Um, and and Brandon had to feel that coming. Um, so that's, that's not, that, that was, that was as it should be. I think, um, Brandon managing to do a good amount of damage before Asajj, uh, went off to the other side, but, um, it doesn't look good. He's Jack still has all his ships on the board. Two of them are down to one health, which, you know, uh, could catapult Brandon pretty quickly up to 84 points. But even then he's still 15 or 25 points behind Jackson. I didn't even see how you do that though, right here, because yeah, Palab's facing the wrong way. Yeah, and Layton's running right into a rock, a rock if she five K, and they have stun pilot. Exactly. 
Um, so Brandon just not at all in a very good position. Uh, that 5K from Massage last turn looking better and better as an option. Um, and Jax uh, really kind of not at all punished for his error last turn, uh, shooting Paylob instead of Visage. Mm-hmm. Um, this game is turning very quickly. Let's also, we haven't talked about this at all, but the, the audience might be seeing it. There's only two minutes left in this game. Well, before we <laughs> Which, have two more turns. Right. Well, that's crazy considering, you know, this game has gone so quickly. So there's a minute 40 left, which means there's going to be this turn and then two more additional turns. Mm-hmm. So Brandon has three turns to kill those two X-Wings and a third. Because half points doesn't get you the difference there, I don't think. Right. So, yeah, no, you have to kill three. You have to kill three X-Wings and, and half on payoff. Points. Um, that's what you have to do. Yeah, that's that's starting to look to be just impossible for Brandon to pull off. Um, he's just getting the hell out of there um, with Leighton and with Paylob. He's looking to try to come around and reset. But the problem is that those X wings, you know, when I a lot of the times, Charles, when I was commenting your games, what I would say is that you know your opponents. When, when they get into the point when your best option every turn is just a one straight or a one bank, they've already lost. Yeah. You know, when they give that to you or the game just ends up that way, it's over. You're done. Uh, you, you have to, you know, you as the player have to try to, you know, in a way, almost, you have to try to lose once you can just, all of your best turns are one straights or one banks. Um, and that's the situation Brandon finds himself in here. If he wins this game, it's going to be because Jax handed it to him somehow. Right. Uh, that's not a good position for Brandon to be in, trying to wait for your opponent to make a mistake so you can capitalize on it. Mm. Um, Leighton getting out of there. Uh, yellow moving fast enough that Leighton will not get shot by him. Yes. But he can't barrel roll. Yeah, he can't barrel roll here, but he can take a target lock for future turns, and he's going to choose to do that. That's the right call. And on Paylob, um, I, I'm not sure that that's the right decision here. Well, he might just think maneuver-wise he's going to be facing more that direction. A little bit of an error here by Jax, bumping into his own ship. Um, I don't think it's the end of the world for him, but... No, it's- I also think he wanted more guns on targets this turn, and he's not really getting it. Instead, he's kind of just piling up in a little bit of a clusterfuck here. Um, he well, he, can, a, he brown, can afford it. Red and brown are one away from death. From death, yeah. So Brandon could actually kill brown. He could. So particularly if... Because um, brown doesn't have a focus, right? It's, a, it's right. probably going to be a range two, three shot. It may right. not be obstructed. It looks unobstructed to me. Right. So he and he can use a focus token as a target lock. Right. So I actually think Brandon may kill an X wing this turn, but he's going to have. That means he'll have to kill two more next turn just to. Yeah. Just have a well, and the problem, the problem might be if that's through a gas cloud, right? Then, I don't think it's going to be, but we'll see. Yeah, I, I think because of the way they're angled, it would be through a gas cloud and on brown. Sure. Um, Leighton has no shot, but nobody's really shooting Leighton except for Ezra, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Right. But the the the, the point that you're making is that, which which is completely fair, is that uh, Jax doesn't have to shoot anything right now. Right. He just has to not get killed. Mm-hmm. Um. He can he can win this game if he doesn't take another twelve damage in the next three in, in these these three turns, and uh, that's going to be a lot for these two ships of Brandon's to try to pump out with their two dice attacks. I don't think we're going to see. Yeah, that's going to be through that cast cloud. Yeah. Um, I don't I don't see Paylob turning in here for the the three. Where did where did he get that focus token? Was that from Ezra? 
I think I think Ezra was thinking he was at range three, and just the tippy tippy tip of his base was at range two, and that gave Paylon another token. Someone who's done that this past week, I understand. I, I thought your yours was the opposite. I thought you were definitely at range three, and you chose not to take a focus. Oh, okay. I focused barrel rolled, thinking I was. Gonna oh, that's what it was. So. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, Paylob Paylob just changes the rules in a way that uh, players just aren't used to, unless you spend right. time playing against them. Uh, though again, that's not really going to punish uh, Jax particularly hard here. It's just going to make Paylab a little bit more free to spend that focus instead of doing what he would have done, which is um, keep it so that he could be at full tilt next turn. Uh, Brandon starting to think pretty hard about what he wants to do. You got to shoot the guy. You got to shoot Brown, right? I think you have to shoot Brown. They're all through a cloud. Where are you going to shoot at? Now. You, you well, here's here's your option. Way. Now, here's mm -hmm. your option. Yellow. Yellow is an option. One point of damage gets you half on yellow. That's true. And that one's range three, not through a gas cloud. So okay. you could range two through a gas cloud to try to kill something, or you could range three to try to get points. Yeah, it'll um, be two versus three dice, but it might happen. Well, and it's two versus three either way. Yeah, there's yellow. He's, he's going and, in on yellow. I think that's you know, the right choice. Brandon can spin a focus, I think, pretty safely. He's only going to take right. maybe one shot from green. Right. Well, and if you're Brandon, I mean, what did we say? Brandon has to kill three X-Wings, right? That's right. So his target priority has to be the two that are at one health and yellow who's out of shields. I mean, that has to be his target priority. So he's just going to go ahead and start with the one that's right there. And Paylob continuing it. to roll very well. Uh, that focus that he stole... Uh, coming into play, and there's half on yellow with a hit crit that is a uh, console fire, actually. Mm. So that could be yet another X-Wing at one health uh, if yellow uh, rolls a hit here. Paylob continuing to uh, do 99% of Brandon's work for this game. <laughs> um, X-Wings... Looking for shots and, and finding none. Um, very unfortunate there. Uh, I, I, I really think Jax tried to overcomplicate this turn. Um, it, just winding up in a traffic jam instead of going after the place where Leighton was very obviously going to be. Um, they just roll for console fire. Ezra has a... Oh, he did? Yeah. Okay, so console fire is fine. Two hits, and uh, evade. that evade coming in handy for Leighton. Evaded, and he'll get an evade, but it doesn't matter. That's the last shot of the turn. So all of a sudden, in a way, uh, we have a game. Yeah. Um, there are three X-Wings, two at one health and one at two health. That's right. Can you do a quick calculation for me? If... If Paylob goes to half, this game is over. Oh, we we all know that. Yeah, if, I mean, if Leighton dies, points. if Leighton dies, and Brandon finishes off these three X wings, does Brandon still win? Uh, yeah, because the difference is forty. See, this is the deal. The difference is forty-four points. Right. I don't know that that Brandon actually can mathematically win. Well, no, he has two turns left. Yeah, no, he has he has two full turns to do this. He can absolutely bring it back. He can. Um, so, but th this is the question I have: Can is Brandon able to let Leighton die? Yes, and still win if in the process two more X wings. Right. Yes, because Leighton's only seventeen more points, and the X wings right. are half of them is twenty one points. Right. So Leighton is actually in a pretty good spot here to hard turn around this rock and get a shot on that brown X wing. Right. At one health. <laughs> um, and the other two ships that he needs to be going after are red. But here's the thing. If Jax is smart, that red X-Wing is going to do a three bank to the right and say, you're done. Well, I mean, Jax moves last, and he's got ships that can... Focus, boost, or barrel roll. Right. So there's a lot of things he can do. I mean, I, I think Leighton... I, don't you think Leighton's going to do a too hard left? 
next turn. I no, I see Leighton doing it too hard left. But the the thing is that like okay, Brown Brown isn't in a good position to run away. Right. No, he's not. Yellow and red, though, are in good positions to get out of there. Yeah. I Yellow think can too hard turn to the left and fix yes. console fire. Mm-hmm. Red can three bank to the right, focus boost, and get the fuck on out of there and be untouchable for the rest of the game. Well, I mean, red could too hard left and shoot Leighton for no reason. If That's true. Wants to. You think you think the too hard turn clears that rock though? Or three, whichever one. I mean, I'm not looking down. Oh, right. Well, that's interesting. But Brandon, well, and this is this is actually what I was going to. Where, this is where I was going with that. Actually, was there. that um, if Brandon was seeing Jax able to run away with that bright red X-wing, I don't think he wanted to. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. All righty. Well, so red's going to die, but not before it shoots. Not before it gets a, a range one shot on Paylob there. Um, that could be fun. Uh, anyway, so Leighton, Leighton might have wanted to K-turn there to be in a good position to chase if these X-Wings at one health, yellow and red, tried to run away. I forgot that red has stunned pilot. Yeah, red does. That's that's why I'm I'm saying you got to be very careful about that hard turn through a rock. Um, yeah, fair point. You you don't you don't want to lose the game right there. I think too hard works, but I'm at an angle, so mm. people can see the whole board. Uh, too hard might work. I don't know. I, that's just not how I would want to lose. Fair. Um, yeah, you can right. three bank boost or three hard boost. And yeah, be out of there. Uh, and they're t- they're talking about something. And I'm not quite sure what it is. Uh, Brown might be thinking about no. Okay. Uh, <laughs> ooh, yeah, he knew right where Paylab was going to be, and he is not at all shy about coming in for it. Um. Okay. Brown taking a target lock. Green taking a target lock. Uh, red talon rolling. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, that's just, uh, there's nothing to that, but okay. Uh, <laughs> yellow though, um, just moving it straight. Cleared console and fire. It cleared the console fire and that's the right decision. You, and you don't want to focus either cause you might get, it might get stolen. Um, Leighton though, uh, getting a bit of what Leighton wants here in a hail Mary kind of way, uh, because that is an out of arc shot on yellow. Yeah, and it's going to be range three through a rock, probably. But yeah, but it's if, if it's auto blaster, so if you roll a single blaster, crit, so he rolls a crit, it goes through. It doesn't matter. Right, and if that crit's a direct hit, then that's a dead yellow. Then that's a dead yellow. Um, and even more I so, Brandon yellow was going to be the crits. one that was going to be the last one to maybe die if if any of them die. Well, That'd yeah, be we'll see. Brandon, he's not in marksmanship. He's not in you know anything. He doesn't have to roll a crit here. And in oh, fact, he rolls nothing and he gets he an evade. And that that could be the very end of Brandon's chances here. Um, could be. It could be, but it's he's it's not out yet. Brandon had four attacks to kill three ships. Yes. Um, he now has three attacks to kill three ships, yes. and this is one of them. Uh, range one into brown from Paylob. That is an excellent roll. <laughs> uh, well, and the crits could matter if it's weapon. And the crits failure. could matter. Then there's two of them. Um, right. There's damaged engine, which does not matter, and disabled power regulator, which also matter. doesn't matter, but it could have. Right. Okay, so Brandon is... You know, we talk about increasingly difficult paths to victory, but if you're a very good player, you always keep sight of your path to victory, even mm-hmm. if it's small. Um, Brandon is still on his path to victory, even though it's it's getting unlikely. Um, this is a three-hit roll from this X-Wing. He's spending his target lock. Brandon has to be breathing better, because that is a blank. Well, which, this is going to be hard. This is going to be hard. Um, he could spend the focus to reroll and try to take no damage. I think he just spend the focus, because you're going to take another shot from green. 
you're going to take another shot from Crane. So you just you just lose your stealth device and just the point work. is not to get to half. It's not to lose your stealth device, right? Mm -hmm. I wonder what the math is on that. Well, I mean, you go down. To, you go down. To, no, he, what? Wait, what is he doing? Well, it ended up being. The oh, he was. was he was hoping. He was hoping the spending of one would get him to. It's a fair point. Yeah, and 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 again, you know, Brandon Brandon is that hail mary he miracle. Is. So you know, continuing to go after the hail mary miracle that brings him back into this wow. game is not necessarily a bad idea. Jax's X wing dice finally showing up for him a little bit here. Yeah, he um, four. Uh, still can't seem to uh, roll that four damage except for that uh, one shot on Asajj. But uh, this is still going to be more than enough to. To really bring the game his way, and that is, uh, yeah, that's a role that is pay lob to half, just yeah. right there, and that's game. It is. That's the end of the game. There's, there's absolutely nothing Brandon can do. Um, and they'll, they'll play it out maybe. Um, but I, I also would not be surprised to see a concession coming through from Brandon, um, because they're. That that was the very very last opportunity Brandon had to to win this game. There's no way he right. can bring that level of points back. Um, that ship also has a target lock on Paylob. Uh, there's there's two more hits coming through. Paylob just out of tokens. Um, it, this could be the first dead Paylob we see in, uh, in Corona Cup. Um, not quite one health. Yellow, left. Yellow's got to shoot though too. Well, I thought that was yellow. Oh, was that yellow? Okay. Yeah, that was yellow. And I don't think Ezra has a shot, and red definitely doesn't. Uh, though Ezra might have a... Ezra took the shot on Leighton to start. Um, so there's exactly one turn left. Um, Brandon's managed to take an X-Wing off the board. And um, now that this game uh, is entirely in the for-fun area of things... We'll probably see Brandon uh, be looking to take red and or yellow off the board too and just make the board look a little bit more his preference before before we call time. Right. Oh, uh, Dr. Ham pointing out, actually, in that shot late into yellow, that was range three, so you couldn't use Auto Blaster in the first place. Oh, fair point. So there, there was basically no chance to do it. Um, Where were you rolling here? Uh, I don't know. Are they just, that, are they uh, just I think chatting? that was Ezra on uh, Leighton. They forgot to do it. Oh, uh, okay. Didn't matter. And Leighton, Leighton managed to evade? So Jack's not doing what you thought he would do, which is just bravely run away. Um, yeah, well, in a way, he did though. I mean, Red did run away. Fair. He 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 Talon rolled to get out of Leighton's ability to shoot him instead of going in on Leighton, and I I still think that was the correct call. Yeah, but um, I mean, he doesn't have a good move this turn. It, yeah, like he well, could focus this coming turn probably, right? Yeah. But oh, yeah. he won't be blue he can, unless he doesn't want He can – the X-Wings – yeah, they could. he could three straight boost focus. No, three straight is a, uh, is a T-70 is a T white? blue. Oh, it's okay. wide on the T-65. Right. He can one bank boost focus and be completely fine. He could totally one bank boost focus. He could totally do that. That, that said, again, it uh, – Unless Jax is not aware of where the points stand, I think, uh, which I think is which knows. is entirely possible. Jax knows where he's at. I think. Yeah. So I mean, it, you know, it could be a little close, but unless he's unaware of where the points stand, he knows this game is is guaranteed for him at this point, and so he he may choose to just answer Brandon's call in a way and go all in and just see what happens. Um, certainly I think he would enjoy 
uh, after all of the the uh, discussion I've heard about uh, with the Idea Squad tournament and and this particular list of Brandons, I, I think Jax would certainly enjoy being the first person in the Corona Cup and and the Idea Squad tournament to bring Paylob down right without using another Paylob right. Um, so I if I yeah and he's gonna that's exactly what he's gonna do. He's he's saying you know what nope. I could run away, but I'm not going to. I know I have this game in the bag, and uh, Paylob is going to die, and uh, or, and Layton's going to die. He's going for all of the kills, and he's going for all of them too. Okay. Um, I mean, he knows Red's going to die. You might as well. Yeah, sure. well, especially because he just rolled into that range one auto blaster from Layton. Right. Um. Uh, it looks like that's what we're doing first. That's a range one auto blastered shot into with red with marksmanship. So crit with marksmanship. That's going to be uh, uh, four hit, three hits and a crit coming through into yeah. red, who rolls absolutely nothing and whatever is completely fine. The overkill of the century here. This X wing with uh, what are the crits? Seven hits. Hull Breach, Stun Pilot, and fuel, actually Fuel Leak activates, so uh, he needs to take another damage card. <clears throat> uh, someone should be informing the players that there, there's an incorrect... Uh, the, this X-Wing should have eight hull damage on it. Uh, but anyway, it's a dead X-Wing. Um, Paylob... Yeah. Paylob's gonna... You would know you, how many shots you need to kill a Ewing. Caleb has got a range one on yellow, and he's going to try to take a second X-wing off the board here, uh, and is not going to really quite manage to do it. He may as well spend his focus token again. Caleb is well. Caleb's just dead. Yeah, the problem is uh, if yellow just needs to roll a single evade and be completely fine, but he doesn't. That's wow. four blanks in a row from Jax coming right as uh, he he's completely fine with that happening. What a, actually, what a bloody game this has turned out to be. Yeah, um, that doesn't PS kill anything, though, because all nope. of the ships on the board are PS3, which is very odd to, to see, really. Right. Um, so here we go. Um, we've got some range one shots coming in on Paylob. That's not a great start. I assume that was Paylob. I also assume that was the X-Wing that Talon rolled. Probably. Um, Paylob, yep, rolling his defense, getting that evade, completely fine. The, the uh, hyperspace die or unfair die. So they roll yeah. Evades more. Next, we've got Yellow, who does have a target lock. Yes, yeah, so this should get to two. And that's a much better roll for Jax. Two hits and a crit. Paylob definitely taking some damage here. And that's a dead Paylob. Um, for everybody who ever wondered about the puzzle of Paylob, the trick is have three dice attacks. Direct hit. Uh, and was that a direct hit? Yeah. Oh, and there's just a dead Paylob. So Red is shooting. And that's a four dice attack at Layton, too. Oh, no. Four hits coming through into Layton. Uh, is he just taking the damage? Layton? Yeah. I mean, he, he, yeah, Layton's got to die. Well, no, I mean, is Brandon rolling green dice for Layton? I, I don't think it matters. Yeah, he just took the damage card. Leighton, Leighton was at one. Leighton oh, was close enough one. to death. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. So Brandon, Brandon just conceding. He's not even going to bother rolling. Paylob's dead. Leighton's dead. So let's, um, uh, and Jax has wiped the board. In the, let's join him in their their room there on table one. You hear me? Mark? Yeah, I will be right there. Hey guys, how are y'all doing? Hey, how's it going? It's going. What a bloody game that was. Yeah. So, uh, Brandon, why don't you tell me about what you were thinking? You know, how, what was your approach to the game? That sort of thing. Um. Well, he didn't want to go in the rocks, and I wanted him to go in the rocks, mm. which that's you know that's fine. Um. The main thing is, or the main issue that I had is that turn that Asajj got deleted, I was thinking about doing a 5K 
with the contraband. And I did not think that he was going to, um, I didn't think he was going to jam up on the wrong ship, basically. Mm. So like he ended up in a situation where everything was jammed up on Layton and in, and it was jammed up in a way that when I moved, I still moved instead of saying, staying on his ship. Right. And I should have five. I should have done the five K that I, that I had initially in uh, that turn. Um, the other thing is I could have still fought back from it if I had done a one bank instead of a two hard, uh, the turn before the last turn with Paylob. Mm-hmm. Because that would have given me cleared stress, which would have given me an evade. I still would have killed the same ship, but I would have ducked uh, all of the initial damage and not lost my uh, not lost my stealth device. I would have had cloud protection from the third shot that came in that still managed to do yet another damage to me. And I probably still would have been okay uh, against the middle shot that came in at me. Because I think that one ended up doing no damage even without the stealth device, if I recall correctly. So, yeah, all in all, I mean, like that's that's basically what um, that's basically what un what undid me is I didn't five k the turn I should have, and I didn't one bank the turn that I should have. Um, was it five k with Asajj? Yeah, it was the five k with that's, Asajj. That's and what then, I was thinking you were gonna do. That's what and then there was about. and then there was one one turn where because of the uh, because of the angle that I was looking at things I couldn't mm. tell the difference between his yellow X wing and his olive X wing mm. and so I shot the I, I shot the yellow one thinking it still had the crack shot and moved uh. it out of the crack shot and that's why I shot that one instead of the olive one that was at range one also because that one I could have tractored out of my bullseye out of his bullseye into the uh into the cloud and potentially had him at minus two agility at a range one rear arc shot from mm-hmm. uh Asajj. i mean not Asajj, uh Pelop. right uh so, yeah we were wondering, you were wondering about that i thought it might have been because you were trying to get him out of range one and it didn't quite happen but no no it was it was entirely the crack shot because i had the because the colors weren't showing up on my monitor uh they, they weren't showing up different enough on my monitor so and I and I mentioned that to him. That's why I, yeah. And then we had some stuff flipping around with crack shots, crack shot charges at that point. Yeah, but, we noticed that too. But we know you guys are both uh, above yeah. the board players. Yeah, we, so we, we knew, knew you guys were figuring, figuring that out. out. So. so yeah, two two single maneuvers and a uh, and a and a color uh, a color mishap. Um, that's yeah, that's me. I had the color mishap with green and brown. They just look so similar. I flipped the wrong crack, but right. figured it out quickly. I was like, no, I've no, I still have that guy's crack shot. Why is it not there? So yeah, well, Jax, tell us about uh, you know your approach to the game. What were you trying to accomplish, and did it go the way that? You, well, I mean, you won, but <laughs> did it go the way that you were expecting it to go? Um. So when I saw the list. I was thinking, okay, Asajj is worth 90 points. That's mm-hmm. more than two of my X-Wings. So mm-hmm. I got to kill Asajj. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's the only ship that can PS kill anything of mine as well. So since Paylob and Leighton are both threes and my whole list is threes. So I was like, if I get Asajj off the board, I got a you know fighting chance. And then I decided to split my fire that round. And I was like, oh, that was stupid. Why did I even do that? I got greedy. I'm like, I got bullseyes and I have crack shots and maybe I can get rid of stealth device and that'll be worth it. And maybe I can get Layton off the board. And uh, That was the one round I felt like I made a big mistake. I should have just continued to focus. Was splitting Asajj, your fire? Then, yeah, we, we thought the same. Yeah, I just, I got greedy. And then the next round, the dice said, you know, who cares if you made mistakes, you can kill Asajj anyway. So it, it, you know, I was rewarded when I shouldn't have been, but um, yeah, mainly I just wanted to slow roll along the side, but then the way I saw him going around his other side, I was like, okay, well maybe go a little faster and then we can bank in and then hard turn in, in this nice big open area. <laughs> so that's kind of what I went for. And um, I wasn't expecting Leighton to do the 5k and then come back in. So you know, that did surprise me. And I was like, okay, maybe I just bank in instead of harding in to go for Leighton. And 
that was another turn where I, I, I was like, man, that's going to be so close. He might land on the rock right here with Asajj mm-hmm. with the hard two. I didn't think he would brisk it. And that's why I didn't do the hard two and I banked in. But I got lucky and saw it a decent amount of arcs and got the two shields that round. But um, it's, yeah, my- it's funny you say that because uh, I have used that exact rock and Asajj and done and, and knew the exact geometry of doing a hard two around it since like 1.0. Oh, I nice. used to do that in 1.0. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, I, otherwise, I wouldn't have Brandon. risked it either. We, we were impressed, Brandon. I, I was impressed. I was like, oh, there's no way. Because I was like, if I hard to here and he goes for it, I'll get a bunch of bullseyes. That'll be nice. And I was like, no, he won't do it. But yeah, overall, my strategy was just kill Asajj. It's worth so much points. And then next, mm-hmm. go for Paylob and just try to get at least half points. And then it becomes a pretty insurmountable mountain um, if I have enough left on the board. And that's kind of kind of went the way I was desiring. So yeah, I think it worked out well with you, where you had a couple of ships with one health left, mm-hmm. right? And then you got Asajj off the board, so it didn't matter anymore that they had one health left. They were going to shoot before they died, right? So exactly. Um, no, that that was it. Was, it was a really good game. Um, definitely the bloodiest game, Brandon, with your list. I think right that we've seen. By far. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, these yeah. crack shot X wings make every game bloody. Like mm-hmm. every game I've played has been a game for blood. <laughs> Mark, you have any questions or thoughts? No, about that? just that was a hell of a game, guys. I appreciate uh, appreciate letting you us uh, watch and, and stream. I, I know the people watching enjoyed it, and uh, you know, congrats to both of you, uh, Jax. Congrats on the win. Corona Cup two uh, tournament winner here, Brandon. Congrats on uh, a really, again, a really solid run through, and runner up is you know, and this is, this crowd is is really something that's that's awesome. And you guys both flew a lot of great games. I appreciate it. Yeah, you and I was saying I was bragging on you guys a little bit earlier in the stream. Uh, you guys are both really good players, and you're really good guys. So uh, I'm glad that it worked out this way. Uh, that you you y'all got to face off in the finals and, and congrats, Jack. And, hey, and, thank you guys, appreciate it, and thank you guys for hosting. It's been a whole lot of fun. Absolutely. Yeah, I was glad to see one of you guys uh, actually cut through because I know on the first, I know the first Corona Cup, y'all had a rough. Uh, it's like y'all started started strong in the first couple of rounds, and then like your your midfield rounds just kind of fell apart for a lot of you guys. Yeah, I ended up. Uh, like 16 points away from that top four cut because the very last round it was against uh you right charles that's correct yeah and i was like <laughs> i completely forgot to flip my u-wing <laughs> uh configuration and then he gets the one damage for the half points on the u-wing and that made me miss cut but you know yeah it is what it is <laughs> it was close you know and the, and that in that game is one of the reasons we went to uh four wins or better this time around instead of um, top and that was four. really cool. Right. It, it led to a good, nice top, what nine and yeah, with uh, a playoff. Yeah, exactly. That was a lot of, that was a lot of fun getting to see a playoff and getting to have those extra few games and to prove your medal and all that. It's, it's right. a lot of fun. Yeah, but it was good. Cause I know a bunch of us were real stressed about once we figured out that top four cut, we were like Charles in particular, he had to, he had to take a completely different strategy yeah. for his, cut game because it wasn't enough he went into it knowing it wasn't enough for him to win he had to like he had to 200 his opponent yeah and that was you Jax. that's why you you all thought i I had an unorthodox strategy but it was like either win big or go home uh was the was the thing before me so yeah with all that we did the the four wins or more i think it worked out well and i'm glad we got to do this and, and think about this instead of all the other awful stuff we could be thinking about right now so it's a good Absolutely. diversion. Well, and now that uh, Corona Cup 2 is over and one of the idea guys took it, we'll have to see if one of you guys can take the idea league. <laughs> yeah, we'll see, because I was I was going strong until I took a game loss to somebody who decided to copy my list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it might be time to put down this list. I know that's what I've done. I've been playing a different list every week in Idea Squad and not even trying it out first, just thinking, Hey, this is the way I I should fly it. It's been working well for me. So just, you know, and that's one of the things we can do during the season is just mix things up, play with, you know, you don't even own maybe. Right. 
and all is the it... five. Uh, I'm sorry, all the five idea guys we that are playing, except for Keenan. Keenan didn't want to do it with us. Well, he had to join late because we got an addition. But oh, um, right. the five other idea guys in the league, we're all we've been doing round robin building lists for each other. That's so awesome. that's a little bit why all of our stats are so. <laughs> sure. We're gonna just blame it on each other, you know. We don't have to blame ourselves now. Well, that's what we did in Corona One too. So yeah, now we we hear you. Yeah, except Brandon made it work. Um, but anyway, there's that. <laughs> uh, congrats to both you guys. Appreciate y'all, and, and I hope you have a good one. Thank you so hey, much. Thank you. Yeah, have a good night, everybody. Thanks, man. Have a good night.